Hi, good morning, everybody. My name is Albert Tan. Today's session, I will talk about Voice in Plus Chrome extension. This is a special LTD I have arranged for you guys, and I'm going to demo to you how to use it in uh, various websites. So before we start, let's uh, see where is a Chrome extension. Uh, this is the Chrome extension. So if I click uh, the Chrome extension here, it will turn red and it will start to, and then you speak, whatever that you have spoken, it will convert the, the voice that you have spoken into text. So we can always do a test here and see how accurate uh, the transcription is. And let's see how it's going to be done. Okay, we have to do a few uh, website uh, that is uh, shortly AI here, or maybe do it in a download silo and do it in conversion AI. And also we try to write an email in Gmail. Okay, let's uh, start here. And I'm going to do uh, speak some words and see how it's uh, going to be appeared in the shortly AI. So let's click here. Good morning, comma, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone, wherever you are. Today, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use Voice in Plus Chrome extension in various websites which have a simple text box or input box. We'll stop. Next line. I will test it in shortly, comma, Facebook, comma, conversion AI, comma, and also Gmail. We'll stop. Okay, so now we have the output here. Let's check uh, whether the output is uh, as what we expected. Okay, I have spoken. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone, wherever you are. Okay, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use Voice in Plus Chrome extension in various websites, which have a simple text box or input box. I will test it in shortly. Uh, Facebook, Conversion AI, and also Gmail. I think this is very good. So maybe I didn't say that I have a next line over here. So it should have a full stop here. And it should, I should say uh, there is a next, next line. Okay. Nevertheless, I think this is uh, something that uh, uh, very useful if you are writing a lot of uh, article or content in various website, which you could, uh, will serve as a time saver for you. So let's see whether it can perform in Facebook. Let's go to Facebook. Let's say we want to write something here. Let's scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Okay. Let's go. Okay, okay, it's a text box. Okay, we can write something here. So before we uh, activate the Chrome extension, you must go to the admin bar at the top. So this is a voice in uh, typing Chrome extension. You click here, it will turn red, then you can start talking. Okay, let's start. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to announce a special lifetime deal Avoid in Plus Chrome extension. Okay. Yeah, he actually record. Uh, okay, let's start tomorrow. Let's start. So this should be. Tomorrow I'm going to announce a special lifetime deal actually. So uh, maybe my pronunciation is not so good. So it should be the special deal of Voice in Plus Chrome extension. So nevertheless, after some practice, uh, you should get quite accurate result. And it also depends on the way you speak and your accent, uh, what type of English or what type of language you are using. So uh, without further ado, I should try another one uh, that is conversion AI. Okay, this is a past framework. I'm going to do some product description over here and ask a conversion AI to generate some content. Okay, let's uh, put our cursor here. 
and we can click here. The moment we turn red, I will speak. It allows your voice to type across many different websites. Full we'll stop. Next line. It enables voice typing and make it easy to type in the browser using voice to text. Full we'll stop. Next line. Whether it is writing email in Gmail, comma, answering assignments in classroom, comma, responding to customer tickets, comma, replying to chats or learning pronunciations, voice in speech to text capability let you do them all using your voice. Full stop. Okay, let's check our writing. It allows your voice to type across many friends. Okay, that's good. It enables voice typing and make it easy to in the browser using voice to type. Yes, good. Whether it's writing email, answering assignment in classroom, responding to customer ticket, replying to chats. Okay. I my pronunciation is not so good. It should be chats. Chats. Or learning pronunciations. Learning pronunciation. Uh, this should be voice in. <laughs> okay. Voice in speech to take ability that lets you. Okay. They miss out. Let's you do them all using your voice. So I would say it's uh, pretty accurate and also all depend on how you speak and how fast you speak. Okay. Then we can, after that, we can use uh, this button to generate the content we, we want. Let's do some generation and see what it says. This is a past uh, framework, a problem agitate solution framework that we can use to write some advertisement or email or whatever uh, content you want to, to uh, put it to your customer. Okay, for example here, problem, you have to type your text on computer. Voice in Plus is a Chrome extension that allows you to use voice input for various tasks and applications. It gives you freedom from typing. Okay. Solution, write email, answer assignment, respond to chat or learning pronunciation using what anywhere with just one click or button. Yes, that's right. I think the output are quite okay uh, using conversion AI. Okay, this one typing is time consuming and takes a lot of effort, you know, and agitation. Wow, this agitation is uh, <laughs> very long. And uh, I think they mix up with the solution as well. How can I use white tapping in my browser? You are not able to use white tapping, but it is not available in the... Okay, this is wrong. The facts are wrong, but then the frameworks are there. Okay, so the next one I should try should be uh, Gmail. Let's go to Gmail. Okay, this is the Gmail that I, I have to do some typing. Okay, before we type, we must always click the, what they call, what they call this a Chrome extension on the top bar. Let's click. Testing voice in plus Chrome extension in Gmail. Hi, Albert, comma, next line. Hope you and your family are fine. Expl exclamation mark. Next line. There, it has been a very long time since we last met in Singapore. Full stop. Next line. I hope to see you soon when the COVID-19 situation becomes better. Full stop. Next line. Talk soon, comma. Next line. Albert. Yes, hope you are doing fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm not too sure we're doing fine. I think I'm trying to say exclamation mark. So that is something that uh, they don't understand my uh, my pronunciation. Okay, that's double mind. And it has been a long time since we last met Singapore. Yeah, it becomes better. Talk soon. Okay. My pronunciation is not good. Like uh, I'm actually say Albert, but it can become Orbit. Okay, so so you can see that uh, this uh, voice in Chrome extension uh, is very pretty accurate and uh, it's a very useful in helping if you are 
doing a lot of typing or creating content in various platforms. So I've just shown you how to do it in shortly here, Facebook, uh, in uh, Conversion AI, even in Gmail, as long as you have a text box uh, inside your, what they call the browser. So this is what we have. And I hope you enjoy this and you can always uh, go to our group and there is a secret lifetime deal offering now. And I'll see you in the group. Thank you and see you again. Bye-bye everybody.